It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be my neighbor? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you definitely are my neighbor. And it definitely is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I was sitting here and I was thinking uh, about many things a few minutes ago. And one of the things that came to mind for me was uh, my time in the Marine Corps. And when I was in the Marine Corps, we did something called rifle qualifications. And every Marine is a marksman first. If you're a Marine, you understand that. We're, we're marksmen first, which means that we must be proficient and efficient on our rifle. We're rifle men, rifle women, we're rifle people. <laughs> and it is a part of what we're taught to do from day one. But there's this interesting thing about it, and you know, uh, we we go through the training, and you learn something called calibration. And you must calibrate your your rifle. You must calibrate your weapon based upon the conditions. It could be based upon your body. Uh, height, it could be based upon where the target is positioned, it could be based upon the wind or the lack thereof, but you must calibrate. In other words, you must make up for the offset. And as I was thinking about this, I began to think about how important it is for us to not miss our target, not miss the mark. And if you know what it means to miss the mark it, it means to sin in fact sin means simply to miss the mark and, and there are many of us uh, many of you who may be listening to me right now and, and you've been missing the mark you, you you see the target and and you're trying to do what is right you're trying to do what is best for you you know and, and you keep struggling you, you try to get it right but every time you try to get it right no matter how hard you try it just seems as if you keep missing the mark so i want to suggest to you and i want to make a suggestion maybe it's time to calibrate maybe it's time to recalibrate your position maybe it's time to just take a look at a few things so I want to put something on your shoulder so that you can keep it in your mind a little bit later uh, maybe you need to compensate because you know it it could be the external conditions of life and life sometimes can blow us hard blows right and it can drop us to our knees sometimes it can be unexpected winds it can be the fact that the way you're breathing because you're anxious it could be many things that cause us to miss the mark it can be many things that cause us to sin So I want to suggest to you, maybe it's time to, to recalibrate. But even as I was thinking about the importance of recalibrating and the importance of positioning ourselves so that we won't miss the mark, you know, and, and getting in a comfortable enough position and also compensating for the winds of life. I started to think about how so many of us, you know, we're quick to judge, how so many of us, we're quick uh, to, to, to cast people aside. And we live in a society today where there's a cancel culture, where we're canceling people. But thank God we don't serve a God who cancels, but we serve a God who covers. For love covers all. Love covers all, and we are given some very specific instructions in the B-I-B-L-E, the basic instructions before leaving earth. These basic instructions while we're here living in earth give us uh, some very true principles, things that we can hold on to. And one of the ones that I was thinking about and uh, as I was pondering and I was considering some things as we, I was thinking about how we live in this society where we are quick to cancel, where we're quick to cast aside, where we're quick to ostracize, where we're quick to marginalize. I started to think about Galatians 6 and 1. Well, we're given specific instructions that says, if you catch someone, a brother, if you catch a sister, any fault, any sin, if they're missing the mark, that we're to do something that is very important. It says, you who are spiritual. So, so this is a message that is not for everyone because see, there's a lot of people who go to church 
and who are not the church. Ooh, glory to God. Come on here, somebody. I know I'm talking right. You ain't got to say nothing. There's a lot of people going to church, but there's not enough people who are being the church. But it says in Galatians 6 and 1, ye who are spiritual, watch this. Come on here, somebody. I'm about to talk right. Somebody say he's about to talk something good right up in here. Uh, ye who are spiritual, you are to restore with gentleness, with meekness, the brother, the sister, the person that is in fault that is in sin that is missing the mark and with gentleness with meekness and here's why because it says that if you don't do that you may find yourself in the same situation you may find yourself missing the mark. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But there are too many people who are living high and, and mighty lives. And uh, they're so spiritual minded that they're no earthly good. There's so many people with their nose lifted so high in the air that if it rained, they'll drown. But the message is for those who are spiritual, those who are truly the church and not those who are just going to church. It says that you who are spiritual, watch over yourselves. Because if you don't watch over yourself, come on here somebody, I know I'm talking right now. If you don't watch over yourself, you might find yourself in the same situation, in the same situation circumstance in the same predicament so my message to you today on this come on here somebody is watch yourself not only watch yourself but watch your brother watch your sister we are to look out for one another we're not to ostracize we're not to cast aside we're not to marginalize but we are called to be the church we're not just called to go to church but we're called to be we're called to go to the edges and the borders and the margins of society where people are dying where people are destitute and where people are desperate and to reach out to all of them and let them know that there is a God come on here somebody who loves them there is a God who cares for them. There is a God who covers because God is love and love covers all. Come on here, somebody. I know I'm talking right. There is a God. Somebody say, there's a God. The same God that saved you can save somebody else. The same God that delivered you can deliver somebody else. The same God that healed you can heal somebody else. Just like God has healed you. So Galatians 6 is correct. Galatians 6 is correct when it says that we are the spiritual. We who are spiritual, we are to restore and with meekness, with meekness, we are to watch over ourselves lest we be tempted. But you are to go to your brother. Even Jesus talked about it. Jesus said that if, if you find someone who is in fault, you find someone who is in sin, you find, you're to go to them. If their, their offense is to you, you are to go to them in private, not blasting on social media, not having private conversations, not having meeting after the meeting, but you're to go to your brother, go to your sister in private. And that's where we're missing the mark. It's easy for all of us to miss the mark. I, I, I can admit for myself and I can say for myself that I've missed the mark many times. For all have fallen short of the glory of God. For all have sinned. All have missed the mark. And so if, if this message isn't for you, it's not for you. If, if you're that spiritual and you're that deep and you've never sinned, this is not for you. Click me off because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those who are real. I'm talking to those who are spiritual. I'm talking to those who are Galatians 6 and 1 type of folk. My name is Darren L. Harris and I'm your friend. And I hope this has been helpful for you. I have a YouTube channel. I want you to go to my YouTube channel and I want you to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Come on here, somebody. 
I love you. In spite of what you've done. In spite of what people say. And I don't just love you in spite of. I love you because of. And God loves you too. Have a beautiful day.